Hello, Mission Muay Thai students. Coach Dustin here with another poem drill for you to practice along with that'll help prepare you for what we're working on this week at the gym. This week we're going to be focusing on some footwork and a couple of different drills that's going to make us uh, switch into our opposite stance. So it might feel a little funny. We only work these a lot, but take your time with them. Work some of these steps at home before you come to class and this will help you feel hopefully a little more comfortable when you go to practice it in the gym, okay? First off, get yourself warmed up and stretch. Um, if you can get a little cardio in, that'd be great. Try to get some sit-ups and ab work in. We're gonna try to focus on strengthening our core a lot this week. So um, start off with some sit-ups. If you can get anywhere from 50 to 60 sit-ups in, that would be great. Try to break it down in different sets if you have to, or you know if your fitness level is high enough, um, you can go ahead and just crank out uh, all 50 to 60 sit-ups in a row before you get started with your footwork. By now, hopefully you got a nice sweat worked up and your blood's flowing. I want you to start drilling some of the footwork here. So first one, from your kick stance, I want you to work on just stepping forward in your stance. That'll be one. Two, you're gonna bring the back leg forward and you'll step forward switching your stance. Three, you'll step your other leg forward getting you back to where you started. Okay, so again, if I'm going backwards now, it'd be one, go straight back. Two, I step back, switching my feet. Three, I step back, switching my feet. Okay, I'll do the same thing again forward one more time for you. One, two, three, and then going backwards. One, two, three, okay? After you practice that, try to give yourself two to three minutes to work on it. I want you to start adding some straight punches in. So, as I move forward, I'll go one, throw my jab. Two, as I step forward and switch my stance, I'm gonna follow with my backhand straight, okay? Then three, I'll step forward again, back to my stance that I started in, throwing a punch with that motion. So, if I'm going backwards, it'll be one, straight back, two, back switching the stance, three, back switching the stance, okay? This will take a little bit of coordination, so take your time. First step will always go straight forward, then when you step, switch your feet as you punch. Okay, three steps, one, two, three, okay? Now, after you get comfortable with that, again, give yourself two, three minutes to practice it. Now I want you to add either a kick after the straight punch as you're going forward, or we're gonna add a shield, or we're gonna try to check the opponent's kick as we're going back. So, first one, if I'm going forward, one, step forward, jab, throw your roundhouse kick, and then put your foot down in front of you. This will make you finish in the opposite stance. Okay? Two, you'll jab now with the other side. Okay? And you'll throw the round kick with the other leg right behind it. Three, you're right back to where you started. Step forward, jab, kick with the rear leg, return back to your stance. Okay? Now, as I move backwards, one, I step straight back and jab. Then I shield the opposite side. Two, I step back, switching my stance and jab. And then I shield, blocking the other side. And then three, I step back one more time, throwing that straight punch, shielding, but covering back my stance. So again, forward, I'm throwing a kick behind the punch. Backwards, I'm shielding behind the punch, okay? One more time, forwards, one, kick, put it down. Two, kick, put it down. Three, kick, bring it back, return it behind you so you're still in your stance, okay? Going backwards, one, Two, oops, sorry. One, two, three, here. Got it? Keep practicing those back and forth. I'll have details in the description for you to get a little more core work in. When you're done, try to give me four rounds of planks, 30 seconds to a minute each round. Keep that core tight. You can do them from your forearms or from straight arm position, but at least spend one round going face down, two rounds hitting both of the side planks, and then your third and final round, reverse plank. Put your hands behind you and straighten your body out, holding yourself up with just your heels and your hands, okay? Thank you guys very much. Hope to see you guys in the gym. Have a great week.